Hey YouTube, this is Steve. It's January 2014. This review is going to be based on this book here called 1001 Most Useful Spanish Words, the new edition by Pablo Garcia Loesa. And this is published by Dover, D O V E R. <coughs> D-O-V-E-R. And right now I'm going to say, do not buy this. It's a good book, but don't buy it. Instead, spend a dollar or two more and get this book here. Called 2001 Most Useful Spanish Words. <clears throat> again by Dover, and again by the same author. And look at the difference here. 1001, 2001. Most useful, use, useful Spanish words, Spanish words. Um, th um, how much do they cost? Well, 1,000 words is $2.50. 2,000 words is $5. So, for $2.50 more, you can get 1,000 more words. And the thickness is also doubled as well. So you do get double the information. <clears throat> Everything in them is exactly the same, except for this one has more. So why have two books when you can have just one? So do not buy this. <clears throat> yes, you can communicate with somebody in a foreign language with just 1,000 words. Easily. You have, for example, 85% uh, of the words you need on a daily conversation. But, why not have a 95% ability to speak with that person with 2,000 words? After you learn these 2,000 words, you're more or less 95% able to communicate 95% uh, of uh, what you want to say to someone else. Um, and then um, it's said through studies that three, you need 3,000 words to be super comfortable and and uh, to live in that country, to be one of them, to be um, more or less fluent. Um, <clears throat> so you do probably want to know what's inside of this book, the one I said don't buy. So let's check it out. You have the alphabetical section. What does that mean? It means there's words in alphabetical order that you should know. Starting with the very first word, a. Ah. And then how you can use it. A tiempo, a veces, a través, abajo, abierto, acabar, accidente, aceptar, aconsejar, acordarse. So these are the words, the 1,000 words that you need and learn in alphabetical order. And they keep on going. And here's the E section. Escalar, escalera. And then, for example, they give you examples. Um, for example, escalar means to climb. And it says, you need a lot of equipment to climb a mountain. And then it has it in Spanish above it. Si necesita mucho equipo para escalar una montaña. So they give you an example in Spanish for each one. And they give you the translation to English. <clears throat> now, what else is in here? Can't be all words, can it? Well, let's look. Here's the P section. Uh-oh, we got done the words. What's this? T, terminar, tunel, turista, único, única, verdad, zócalo, zoológico, Zordo or Zorda. What's after the Z? Ah, uh, category section. What does that mean? Well, you can learn words based on category. Like, these are all the words for the family. Abuelo, abuela. And it says, you know, abuelo is masculine. Abuela is feminine. 
Cunado is masculine. Cunada feminine. What does that mean? It means grandfather, mother, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, etc. Perhaps you want to learn just about, um, perhaps you're in Spanish, you're taking Spanish in college or high school or middle school, or you're going to be ta uh, talking to a weatherman in Spanish. You might want to learn about the um, time. Um, so, perhaps you want to learn oh, everything about time. So, you want to learn how to say year, last night, yesterday, and here they are. Año, anoche, ayer. And they keep on going. Ahora, hoy, etc. Um, días de la semana, meses. So, we got days of the week. We got months. Um, the seasons, the body. You want to learn all about the body? Are you a nurse? Hey, here's a section for you. Has all the translations to the left here. I don't want to show off the whole book here. Um, I, I, the author did a lot of work here, so you should buy it. Uh, what do we got here? We got more parts of the, more parts of the body, etc. So we got parts of the body. This section is called health, and then we have, um, what else we got? A lot of stuff about health is in here. They talk about first aid, bleeding, healthy, sprain, syringe. So, you know, health is important, especially when you're traveling. Uh, for example, let's say you take insulin. You're like, oh my gosh, I, 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 I lost my syringes. You go to the uh, local drugstore and say, I need syringe. How do you say that? Well, this will tell you the word for syringe. In a hurry. also has numbers. Um... Question words like how, which, why, who, where, when, why, how, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sports. All different types of sports out there. Horseback riding, baseball. Um, stores. Like, oh, where's the laundromat? Well, they tell you how to say that. Colors, animals. And that's it. So, as you can see, 1,000 words is pretty darn small. I mean, just the numbers from 1 to 20... You know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, tres, seis, etc. Up to bente. That's 20 words, 20 numbers, 20 words. If you know how to count to 100, you know 100 of the 1,000 words, and you have 900 left. Well, let's see, you got 10, 10 primary colors, 10 primary, 10 primary parts of the body, 10 primary sports. Um, <clears throat> when you talk about your abuelo or your abuela, which is your... Um, uh, your grandfather or grandmother, well, you learn one word, abuelo, and but you just learn two words, abuela. It's similar to, like, I, I compare this because not only am I a polyglot and I love foreign languages and linguistics and all that, but I'm also a, a nurse. So when people say, oh my gosh, I gotta learn all the bones in the human body, no, you don't. <laughs> if you learn what um, this is called, the hand, then you don't need to learn what this is called because it's the same name, hand. So, if you learn what everything is, if you learn all the muscles on the one side of the body, they're exactly the same on the other side. It's called the left and right. So, if you say left rib one, well, just say right rib one. That's like abuelo, abuela. All right, so you don't need to learn Sometimes you don't need to learn 1,000 words. Sometimes you just need to learn 500 words. And this changed the O to an A for masculine and feminine. So you can, or you can learn 1,000 and boom, now you got 2,000. All right. So how's this book different from the 2,001 words? Well, the introduction, the, 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 the alphabetical dictionary is, instead of having 1,000 words, has 2,000 words. And then, um, so you can see it's much longer here. But what's in the back? What's in the back? Let's find out. Um, let's see. S V Z. So you see in the Z section, you have some extra words here. You have um, a, a word I never saw before. Zambuirse. To plunge. Um, to ditch. There's the zocalo from the other one. This, you have an extra word, zona. And over here, the extra two top words are right here. One, two, they're extras. So the other book only had zocolo, or zocalo, pardon, zoological, and zordo. Um, but now we have, so they have three words now. We got six words in the Z section. All right. 
Next page, boom, we got animals. Now let's compare the animal section to the animal section of the other one. Let me open it up over here. I have it in my left hand. Oh, okay. This one does not have animal section. Uh-huh. But this one does have animal section. So, let's see. This one has animals. Next, the body. Okay, okay. The other one had body also, but how many words did it have for body? Let me open it up on my left on my left side here. I have only have one hand, excuse me. Okay. I found the body section. And in the 1001 word book, the body has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, about 40, 45. And here we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, about five words more, more or less. But now we have stuff about clothing and colors and the family. Oh, the family's here. So you have all this extra stuff before we hit family. Um, food. There's a lot of stuff about here about food. Look at all that food stuff. See food? Boom. Look at all that. So you get all this extra stuff. Even eggs and dairy are separated from meats and seafood. And we have other items like olive oil, almond, syrup, appetizer, rice pudding, or just how to say rice in general. What else we got? We got page, we got drinks and beverages, coffee, bottled water, juice, cold drinks, meals. Oh, look. Here's health. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm not sick. <laughs> I just had some coffee, that's all. Here's the, uh, the medical section, which is pretty neat. Numbers. Okay, so let's check out the number section here. Um, we have um, <clears throat> 0, 1, 2, 3, 10, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. And after 20, we get 21, 22. And then we have 30, 31, 32. Because after 32, 33 is exactly the same as 23 and 43 and 5, 53 and 63. And then you learn 40, but they don't teach you 42 and 43 and 41 because it's the same exact thing as saying 31, 32, 33. So they don't want to waste space because it's unnecessary. So that's one word, two word, three word, four word. But if you already know how to say 31, if you learn how to say the word 40, you can say 41. So this book says 2,000 words, but if you combine the word 40, and if you know how to say the word two in Spanish, which is dos, which they tell you over here, now you can say Quarenta dos, or quarenta tres, forty-two, forty-three. I prefer quarenta dos, because that's forty-two, the magic number of the universe. <laughs> um, that's a science fiction joke there, by Douglas Adams. So, <clears throat> this book has how many words? It has two thousand and one words. But if you joined forty with the word two, you just now give yourself one free extra word. So, after you're done reading this book... 2001 words, you should have an arsenal of double that in your head. This book will teach you 2000, but there's nothing stopping you from saying 42, 48. You know, you can do that in your head. So you put 2000 words in your head and you can make 4000 combinations. If you um, add a little verb in between these, then you can say, I want. 43, uh, what, beers. So now 2,000 words can give you, what, 2,000 2, words times, uh, for example, uh, 100 uh, verbs, that's 100 adjectives, and etc. So you, you're walking away with uh, like 2 million um, combinations of words. So you're easily able to communicate and get your point across. In and in, in, in a language after learning these two thousand one most Spanish words. So what I'm saying is, buy this book. Definitely, I highly recommend it. Memorize all the stuff in here. You know, uh, for example, we'll learn ten words a day, or learn one section per day, like the parts of the human body or the colors, and review them. Review what you've learned every day. 
because if you don't review it, you will lose it. If you don't use it, you will lose it, all right? <clears throat> Until it's embedded in your brain, which can take a while. Um, it, um, sometimes words slip me, like, how do I say walrus? I forget, because I don't ever really say that. But if I reviewed that every day, I would not forget it. <clears throat> um, so we got question words, we got... Um, sports are the same, stores are the same, times are the same, you can only have so many times in a day, right? Months are the same, and then Spanish grammar primer. What is that? Vocabulary tips and cognates. Gender, masculine and feminine, pronouns, I, he, she, we, you, they. Um, examples on how to use the grammar correctly. What are these, conjugation tables? Awesome. Is this in the other book? Well, let's look. Let me go through these conjugations first. Of regular, oh, here they have irregular. And um, what what tense do they have? They have uh, um, simple tense, verbs, tenses, and moods. La fiesta fue en la casa que está en venta. The party was at the house that is for sale. Ah, uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, past tense. They teach you a little bit past tense here. Decidí comer mientras. De esperaba. I decided to eat lunch while I waited, or while I was waiting for you. Nice, nice. If you're going to go to a foreign country to study a foreign language, definitely take this book with you. This is a great book to to really uh, fly through the first few weeks of um, learning the, the language. And to really um, get your money's worth when you're paying that private uh, school to teach you. Also, don't take a huge dictionary with you to a foreign country, <laughs> like I did. I took, um, which one did I take? I took, I went to Guatemala. Uh, I was going there to volunteer, but also to study Spanish more depthfully. I took this huge, honking, um, dictionary that has, like, 1,000 stone pages. The thing weighed a ton. It, it's like, it's like pounds and pounds. I could have gotten away with a little dictionary. Like, the size of, like, this little book over here. This isn't Spanish, but that's, you get the idea. Um, so, yes. What, what's my final verdict? Don't buy this. Instead, buy this one. And I'll put a link below, which will show you where to get it on Amazon for the best bang for the buck. Uh, with that said, awesome book. Highly recommended. If you learn this, you'll be speaking, you will have, you will have all the words you need to communicate on a daily basis with anybody. Will you be able to say flux capacitor? Maybe. Maybe it's a capacitor de fluxo. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, um, it's a bad example. Um, would you be able to say, um, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, I need a radiator? Yeah, sure, it's easy. Radiator. Um, po maybe political things like, um, Political foreign diplomatic intervention. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but I could probably figure it out. But um, the word um, uh, dip, uh, diplomat is uh, diplomat. Uh, what is it? Diplomato? Diplomata? I forget. Um, let's see. Um, the word for foreign sometimes is extranjero, uh, for example, or extraña. Um, peace talks. How would you say peace talks? You know? That word, peace talks, for like war and stuff, would not be in this book. Those will be in the, those will probably be in the, 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 the thousand words that surpass this. Words that you would learn just by using the language. You would, you get those words, I feel, not from studying, but from accidentally seeing them. Like on the internet, for example, you're reading a story... Um, you're reading an, uh, a news article in Spanish on some, uh, like BBC in Spanish or Al Jazeera in Spanish or, um, CBS or Fox News in Spanish or whatever, or NBC, whatever your cup of tea is there. And you're reading, you're reading like, oh, what's this word? Um, talks of peace? Oh, that's how I say peace talks, you know, or, oh, I understand every single word in this article except for this one word. What is that? And you can usually figure it out just by context, the words that surround it. But you can look it up in a dictionary real fast, online or on paper, and say, oh, okay, that's what it means. And you probably will not forget that word ever again. Um, and you you will probably remember it if you're going to try to use it when a time comes in the future. But with that said, I highly recommend this book.
please buy it um, for yourself. It's only five U.S. dollars. I mean, look, five U.S. dollars. Let me focus. There we go. Printed in the USA. How cool is that? Oh, he's also a PhD. Big whoop. Who cares? <laughs> um, this this is a very modern book. It says 2010 original publication. Uh, if I look in the first few pages, the copyright is also 2010 inside. So it's very up to date. <coughs> um, so yes, buy it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Right now, go ahead, click it. I'll wait. Did you click subscribe? Good, because I also am going to re be reviewing a lot, lot more books. Um... So please check out my uploaded video section to see what other books I have reviewed about foreign languages. Look at all these I'm going to, re going to be reviewing here. I got 2001 Most Useful German Verbs. Most Useful uh, German Words. <clears throat> Just like the other book here. 501 Portuguese Verbs. Sometimes this book is in a different color, like yellow, for example. I'm going to be reviewing Mikau Kaku. I'm sorry, Michio Kaku, Physics of the Future. Coping with mild traumatic brain surgery. I'm um, injury. I gotta read that first, and that's a big book. Um I'll, go, I'll be I'll be reviewing the Spanish Bible of um, it's not really a Bible, it's actually a dictionary, but I call it the Bible because it's so big and thick. I got some books you can still find at the bookstores that have been out for decades. Uh, Cliff Quick Review, Spanish One, Teach Yourself Basic Spanish, Teach Yourself Latin American Spanish. Yes, to two different types of Spanishes. Um, even this one here, Spanish for Law Enforcement Personnel. I have a lot of books I really want to review. Um, I've read half of these here, so the reviews will be coming up short, um, sooner than later. I got these from my um, local uh, thrift store. I was in there looking for a little a piece of electronics that I could take apart and reuse. And I found some of these books here. And I'll review them too and tell you um, what... Um, well, about them. And those will be a lot shorter reviews. Because they're just books on for pleasure. And these other books are for actual learning. So, get this book right here. Um, did you click subscribe below? I hope you did. Uh, tell me if you like my video. Just click like. So I keep on making more videos. I like to make videos that are in-depth. So you get so you know what you're getting yourself into. The best bang for the buck. All right. Yes, it's a five hour book, but you might not want it. You might have wasted five hours. But guess what? Now you know what your five hours is going to get you. And I say buy it. Um, definitely. Um, click like, click subscribe, share this video with all of your friends that are studying a foreign language, studying Spanish, that like foreign language, that where someone's going to travel to a foreign country. Um, if you're going to travel... Definitely bring this book with you. As I said, it has the, everything categorized into, oh, I'm going, to, I'm going to a restaurant. Let me open up this book to the food section so I can quickly order my meal or quickly translate what's on the menu. You know, maybe I'm a vegetarian. How do I tell them that? You know, this book will tell you how to do it. Um, I also have a couple books down here that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, Grammatica del idioma Kiiche which is the uh, Maya, one of the Mayan languages that's spoken by half of the people that live in Guatemala. That's a cool book. Hard to find. Uh, I bought it when, when I was in Guatemala. But if, if I'm going to review this for you, um, and you can buy it when you're there. Uh, this is a textbook for uh, learning Spanish. Arriba. The first hundred words in German. I'll review that for you. Realidades, I'll review that textbook for you. This is another textbook called Spanish Now, I will review for you as well. Okay, with that said, have a great day, have a great year, have a great week. Check out my other, my other videos, please share these with all your friends. And uh, buy this book, it's five bucks, usually it's free shipping. If not, you can get it free shipping with Prime sometimes, um, or it's an add-on item. Just get it, be happy with it, put it in your back pocket, use it. Uh, tear the pages, get involved with that book, and memorize these words. And I promise you, you'll be speaking much better Spanish in a few weeks, few days, if you have this book. Alright? So, this, uh, I know it's a long video, 
But this is a this is a really good book, and I highly recommend you buy it right now. So click that link below in the below this video and pick it up. All right, all right. Um, happy studying, and I wish you luck with everything. Bye bye now.